Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawyer Studios and I'm doing a review on the Disney Winnie the Pooh Lego Ideas set number 21326 but Lego Idea number 34. This set has 1,265 pieces, retails for $99.99 US dollars and is a pretty good set. I actually got this as a gift from my friend Michael. Uh, I, I just want to say this from the get-go. I understand why it's 100 bucks. It is Disney... It is iconic Disney, iconic cartoon Disney, but a set this size does not feel like it's worth 100. It feels like it should be worth in the $70 range. I got it as a gift, so it was free for me. So, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So uh, we are gonna go through this set. It is around eight inches or 22 centimeters long and around nine inches, 24 centimeters tall. And that is the dimensions of the set and as i said before it's a lego idea set i really like the they kind of compromised on the black box art i still don't like that they chose black box art but they did have some color with the ideas uh sort of like mustard yellow logo down here and then on top of that they do have some little artistic drawing uh that resembles the artwork of the original um a.a milne pooh bear uh book uh animations not animations but um what's uh you have uh illustrations illust that's it uh so you have like the fence here flowers little bee uh some more fence uh, stuff over there uh yeah it comes with five figs we're gonna get into the figs first but i want to look at the instruction booklet i really love this instruction booklet because lego took the time to make this feel like yeah and this is why i have the actual book out because just the illustrations here on the front matches the ones in this book. So if we look at, you know, the very old ones, and these are colored, um, some of them are not colored, uh, but if you look at the different types of illustrations, it has this very, um, it has a very unique style. Like it's, it's a signature style of what Pooh Bear is. And so when you look at, uh, when you look at, images from the instruction book right away you can already see that it's starting to get that style you even have the map of the hundred acre wood here uh, and it's um as far as i can tell it's accurate from what i can remember you have the sort of like where they're getting all of these different affects of the set from and what stories uh they're getting it from you have tigger rabbit or piglet uh, you have a little bit of, of a blurb on the person who designed this originally, uh, which is Ben Alder. Looks like he was French. Uh, then you have some info on the people who actually designed it at Lego, what the bags build, etc. Then you just go into the build like any other instruction booklet. But I really love just... I like how Lego isn't just making instruction booklets to make instruction booklets. Like, they're actually taking the time to have it have artistic value and meaning to the set as well and i really appreciate that just wanted to point that out so we're going to get into the minifigs now this is the like ideas winnie the pooh set first up we have is winnie the pooh he has his classic red shirt on and his tummy sticking out from the front and then you can see his arms do have that nice dual mold printing where he has his little red sleeve stopping right there i think that's a very nice touch from lego there's the back printing. I do think it's a little odd that his head is disproportionate from his body. Obviously, his uh, body is supposed to be bigger than his head, but I think Lego did a good job sticking with that cartoony look, especially with the expression that they have Pooh with, the, the cheeks, the nose. I like the red balloon that he comes with. It's pretty classic if you know Pooh from whether reading the books or the TV show or the movies. I think this minifigure is very nice. Next up, we have little Piglet who comes with the half pink legs. He also comes with his red scarf, which is very nice. As you can see, another single molded head, which uh, matches the cartoon very well. And once again, gets those very nice uh, expressions out. He has the classic pink striped torso, and then on the back, the stripes continue as well. He's also holding a book. The book has three stickers. Uh, as you can see that the book itself is a Winnie the Pooh story. On the inside cover, it says Ben A, which I believe is the uh, Lego Ideas creator. Uh, so that's 
on the inside cover. Then you have a picture of Pooh with some bees and his red balloon floating above the ground. And so that is the little storybook that comes with the set. Next up, we have Tigger or T I double G R. And he, I think this is my favorite minifig for a couple reasons. One, uh, he has this little um, running away from home sack, which you saw a lot in the TV show. If you watch the Pooh Bear TV show, it was just you know, on the stick and then they tied a little cloth with their belongings in it. Uh, and then they ran away from home. Uh, that's not the reason why I like this minifig. The face, I think, is the most accurate. And I think it's also the most proportional minifig in the entire set. He's got his classic pink nose, his smile going along on his sticker face. I like the how they did the eyebrows up here. I love the stripes, especially on the arms. The stripes are great on the torso, on the legs. It also comes with this really cool piece that uh, is a little bendable tail, and it's right between the legs of the torso. So it's that's I think is a really cool touch that Lego decided to add with this mini fig, and it really just brings it to life. Now, I wish LEGO did to Rabbit what they did to Tigger, because for Tigger, they added a whole piece of the tail. For Rabbit, they just printed it on. And I would have really liked to have the same concept, just like a nice white tail that was added to Rabbit, because it kind of looks just weird to have that only printed. But nonetheless, uh, this is Rabbit, uh, and he also looks good. He comes with a carrot. Uh, simple torso printing and the head mold is really great as well. Looks like a classic rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. Finally, we have cute old Eeyore and I love this minifig. They really got his just sad um, expression and it's like so perfect. I love the cross stitching that they have going on on his face. That's like such good detail, the black hair. Um, this minifig cannot move. Uh, everything is a mold except he this is technically two pieces the only other piece that didn't come with here was the bow tie which you can take off and put back on that's literally the only thing that detaches from this eeyore and moves but as you can see he's stationary i i love this minifig i think this minifig is great um the only reason why i like tigger more is that he's he's functional like you can move his appendages but this molded eeyore i think really takes the cake for a lot of just Pooh Bear fans because this is just such a well done uh, Eeyore minifig, really way to go, Lego. So here we have the actual set. And as I said before, it is a bit smaller than I would like. Uh, it's just, it doesn't have that amount of space that you would expect. Now it does open up, which is something, but just looking at it from a 360 degree perspective, it just, I, I just wish it was bigger for how much it costs. Now, there are a lot of stickers in the set, but the stickers aren't that terrible. Um, we do have a nice 100 acre wood sign. Both of these are stickers. Honeypots are printed, though, thank goodness. Uh, this is just a cute little, yeah, just a cute little place to have a little sign from the story. So you can put that anywhere. We should focus on the outside of the building first. As you can see, we have some mushrooms up front right here we have a nice little fireplace a couple stones walkway up into the door for mr sanders you can see that we even have the knocker on the door the door handle and we do have the little bell right here uh, which is very cleverly made and then we do have a sticker that says run also you can see we have some more outside honey pots campfire log and you can sit a minifig down on that log so if we were to take Pooh Bear, if we were to get him into a sitting position, you can see he can sit down and enjoy a little campfire. Something that took me a while to figure out was what the heck is this thing? It is a snail, I'm pretty sure. They're just using a cherry piece, little turd piece. Uh, when my mom and I were building this, she, she didn't know what this was, and I didn't know what it was either. Uh, and then I looked at it from the side, I was like, oh, I think it's a snail, and I think I'm right. So you have a little snail right there. Uh, I, I want to say, something that I do want to give LEGO a huge credit for is the entire look of this set, because they definitely were going for a cartoon look, and just the, the actual way that they animated uh, this series, want to know why, because... Whenever I would draw, uh, when I was a kid, I would try to draw like Pooh Bear scenes. Uh, I would play very, pay very close attention to how everything was drawn. 
Uh, so the way they did the bushes is that they would draw like a cloud and then they'd have some leaves sticking out of the bushes, not many, but just, it was pretty much just a cloud with some leaves. Uh, and that's how they animated bushes. That's how they designed them. And Lego was doing just that. Uh, usually Lego wouldn't make bushes that looked like this, but they're being very careful about how the animators animated the Pooh Bear series because this is essentially a green clouded like shape with some leaves sticking out to show that it is in fact a bush. And I absolutely want to give Lego 100% just A plus on that because that is like amazing detail and attention to detail. I think that's just great. I love the roots, how they look. I love the tree that you do have the door stuck in the tree. Uh, even continuing up, Lego could have chosen the classic uh, tree pieces, but no, they decided to use the coral pieces, but put them in uh, forest green so that it looked even more cartoony. Uh, and you can see like, you know, these are all coral reef pieces. These are not your typical branches that Lego would use. And up here, we do have some printed pieces of some honeybees on their honey hives. There are two of them. And as you can see in just a moment, they spin so you can have the bees flying around their honey uh, combs and all that stuff. Turning the set around so that you can see all angles. You can see there are some nice shutters and windows. You can see some nice flower boxes, the little uh, smokestack on the top of the roof. I really love how this roof turned out and how this roof looks. It's really great. Some leaves are up there. You can see a little ladybug and uh, some more flower boxes right there. And just everything about this. I mean, let's, let's be real. Like, this entire set looks amazing. Once again, my only harp is the fact that it costs so dang much. But you can uh, separate this area and both of the sides will open. Uh, this is the door right here. But if I were to press in from the opposite side, as you can see, the door does in fact open all the way. As you can see inside, we do have many different things to discuss on this side. We have some honey pots up here in the rafters. We have a little cuckoo clock. We have a little candle on a nightstand. We have curtains on a windows and these windows also open as you can see to let in some sunlight. We have a very nice bed right here in which Pooh or any of his friends can lay down and just relax and the bed is a very nice one. I think out of all the beds I've made in module sets, that has got to be one of my favorites. You can see the Pickwick can just lay right down and take a nap in that area. Over here, you can see we have a little box for poo sticks up here and there are some Lego sticks that you can put in the box. There's a little golden heart. I'm not quite sure what that is supposed to be, but it's just a little flat golden heart up there. Uh, we do have the chimney um, where it's connected to the inside of the house, to the stove. Uh, so from up above, you can see it comes down here and then you can put some wood in there to get a fire going. You have a honey pot. Of course, Pooh is gonna have a huge honey pot on his table with a little cup, a little picture, some bees and his classic Pooh chair. And I'm just gonna grab him so you can see what he looks like in his chair. I think this is a really great, um, I think Lego did a really great job with this. There we are. So that's Pooh in his chair. Uh, the chair does swivel a little bit. It has some slight mobility, not a lot, but you could take it off of its hinge and you could reposition it if you wanted to. So you can just move around like that. Inside the little entryway, you can see there is a little table with a drawer and another teacup and teapot. And then you can see there's actually a map of the 100 acre wood. And uh, it, it, that is a sticker, but it's a really intricate sticker. And I think once again, Lego did a great job with that. If you look at the other side of the entryway, you can see that there is a place for an umbrella. You can take the umbrella out of the little uh, Lego Technic piece if you want to. And there is a mirror. The mirror does in fact work as you can see the reflection of the doorway in the mirror. Uh, that is a sticker and that's probably the hardest sticker you're gonna put on in this set is the mirror sticker just because it's oval. It's hard to kind of figure out where to start it. Um, that was the hardest sticker for me at least. So that is a mirror right there. And that is the interior 
of Pooh's house. So that is the Lego Ideas Winnie the Pooh Lego set review. Thank you so much for watching this. I had a fun time building the set. And as I said before, the only downside of the set is that it does cost 100 uh, US dollars. And it's just, it's way too overpriced. But once again, with the licensing that they, Lego probably had to pay for and to be able to make a Winnie the Pooh set, it kind of makes sense. So I'm not saying it's Lego's fault. I'm just saying it's an unfortunate reality that we have to live with. But I'm happy that I got it. I'm happy that I was able to build it with me mom. If you want to watch that video, I thought that was uh, just, I don't know, less entertaining, more so just cute that my mom and I got to build a Lego set together. It's been a while since we built one, so I thought it would be just a fun video to record it and watch her. She hasn't built a Lego set in like, oh gosh, uh, decades. So uh, yeah, anyway, I really love Winnie the Pooh. I love the set. If you love Winnie the Pooh, you will love the set as well. The build was fun. It was very intricate. It was very detailed. It was very interesting. I never felt bored. Uh, the only, I, well, okay. I guess there was like a times, uh, times six for all of these tree branches. So that got a little mundane. And that was probably the only boring part of the build. Everything else was different, interesting. I love the, I love modules. I love building like the mini stuff in the house. My mom loves that too. So I knew that she'd love this set. So if you have $100, if you love Winnie the Pooh, go out to your local Lego store or online, get this set. Highly suggest it. Uh, yeah, this is Story Serious. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Click the bell icon, join the Discord. Watch some of the content, share the video, and as always, see you on the next uh, next one. Peace out.